Hello, and this is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We are in Psalms chapter 3, verse 1 and 2, as well as Philippians chapter 4, verse 5. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Lord Jesus, thank you for this word. Thank you for being our help. Thank you for being our strength from day to day. We love you, Lord. We praise you. We ask you to just be with us and help us to get through the scriptures. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, Psalms chapter 3, verse 1 and 2. All right, verse 1. Oh Lord, how many are my foes? Many are rising against me. So this is a Psalm of David. And so this is talking about just the fact that there is a lot of people against him, right? A lot of people are rising up. It probably feels more like more against him than for him, right? And we've all faced situations in the, our lives where it just seems like there's more against us than for us. But just like with most of David's Psalms, he knows that the Lord is with him. Um Usually, if the devil can't get to you, then he gets to people who are surrounding you, right, or around you in your family or where you work, um, just all the, anybody he can use, right? So it says, many are rising against me. Um, if, uh, well, his his next best bet is the people around you, right? So, and um, that rising or rise right there is is actually just um talking about them becoming more powerful right so david was surrounded by people who were in um royalty or in um, leadership positions i shouldn't say royalty but leadership positions um powerful people heads of tribes and things like that and um you know, you have your priests, you have all prophets, you have all kinds of um, people in leadership positions, and that many are rising against me. Um, it, that rising is saying they're becoming more powerful against me. So, and, and, you know, we face that too, right? Where we feel that, you know, some seasons you feel so strong and um, just some seasons you don't necessarily, but you are still strong. You're still strong in the Lord. And, and you just, in the power of his might, you need to um, get back into position, right? Regardless of um, how you feel, it's a faith action. It's a faith move, knowing that God is with you. So it says, many are saying of my soul, there is no salvation for him in God. Salah. So that second verse, um, basically many believe um, that there's no salvation for him in God, right? They're saying of his soul, speaking on him, speaking on his internal um, um, self, his, his mind, his will, his emotions. They're saying of him that there's no salvation for him in God, right? They're, they're making judgments against him for God, right? And that's pretty bold. Many don't believe God will come through for him, and um, it, that word salvation there, you know, we've talked about that before. It's help, deliverance, welfare, prosperity. It, they, they're believing that God won't help him, that God won't deliver him, that God won't be his welfare and, and prosper him anymore, right? And, you know, I've talked about this before that David, you know, he had just seen Saul go through so much and it would have been easy for him to just wallow and die, right? Or wallow and just, you know, not believe in himself or go down the path that the enemy is accusing him of. But instead, he just brought every thought, every prayer, you know, that we could tell to God, right? He just laid it all before the Lord. He did not hold back. And so the scripture conflation for this is actually more about um, your actions in the presence of 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 the negativity your way of being in the eyes of others 
when you are under pressure, right? It's not just about um, how you feel, right? It's also about how you portray the Lord to others in the sight of others. So it's Philippians 4 verse 5. Let your reasonableness be known to everyone. The Lord is at hand. So it says, let your reasonableness be known to everyone. Reasonableness there is just seemingly um, equitable, yielding, truly fair, moderation, patient. So uh, how reasonable are you in the sight of others? How patient are you and and yielding, right? How truly fair in the face of adversity, right? This is not just on a daily basis. This is when the pressure is on you. Do you show that you, you know, look more like the world or do you show that you look more like your father, right? I've I've been in situations where, you know, when the pressure is on me, sometimes I I sulk, right? And I'll ask other people their opinion. And this is not right. <laughs> you don't need to ask everyone else their opinion or, or say, is this just me, right? We don't need to do that. I've been in that situation where it's like I felt like I really needed to get the opinions of others to to know that, um, okay, this is not a part of my imagination. No, it is not a part of your imagination. You might be treated unfairly. You might be singled out. You might be going through something that is an unfair situation, but God wants you to be fair. God wants you to look fair. God wants you to be fair. He wants you to portray him well in front of others. He wants you to go out of your way to be patient. He wants you to go out of your way to, to yield to that situation, you know, that giving your cloak and your, your whole everything, right. Um, going out of your way to, to be equitable, right and and not just because you know you're a christian but because you love the lord and you want him to look good and you want him to get the glory right it says let your reasonableness be known to everyone the lord is at hand yes they may be looking at you like god is not going to come through for you that there is no deliverance, that there is no prosperity in your future, but you need to be going out of your way to show the beauty and the love of the Lord in in the life of a, a godly person, right? God is the one who who gets the final say. Don't worry, he always vindicates you. He always helps you and he always makes sure that you don't slip the Lord is at hand. There is something more important than this situation. The Lord is at hand, right? The Lord is at hand. So not only is the Lord at hand in the sense of your your enemies might need salvation, right? They they need they need to see a good example of what it means to follow the Lord and follow um, by the Spirit of God. Um, but also the Lord is at hand. He's about to come, right? There's something more important going on on a daily basis in this season. There's something more important going on um, in the sense of, hey, we only have so much time left. I don't want to spend my time trying to figure you out and figure this situation out. I'd rather just be equitable. I'd rather just yield to the spirit. I'd rather just yield to the Lord and make sure that I am in a consistent state of righteous living and uprightness. All right. So your actions should reflect home and not where you currently are, right? Right. We, we might be living in a location, but we should look like home. We should look like our father. We should look like where we came from, the rock from whence we were hewn, 
right? We shouldn't just look like the world because we're in the world. The world, we should dictate to the world. We should live a life of holiness and a life of separateness to where we should look a little distinguished. We should be distinguishable, right? So um, your actions should reflect home, not where you currently are. How? Using the spirit of God to guide you through all your feelings. Because when you start getting in these pressured situations and you start getting into these, these, um, these, like where the enemy is just seeming like he is winning, um, you have to let the spirit of the Lord help you navigate through, um, your feelings because that's when emotions tend to come out, right? Emotions come out under pressure. Emotions, whether it's anger or or tiredness or crankiness or, you know, just I'm just done with this situation, regardless of what the emotion is, you need the Holy Spirit's wisdom and revelation to help you navigate through it. You need to hold tight to the hand of the Lord so that he can show you through this situation and he can, he can give you the things that you need in order to succeed. All right. So the Lord is at hand. Some things are more important than being right. Right. Some things are just more important than being right. The Lord is at hand. Let him be right. And the way he is right is in you by showing that you are bearing fruit in the spirit and the fruit of the spirit and, and that you are following after him truly. He is getting the glory. All right, let's go ahead and pray. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you so much for this scripture conflation. Thank you for showing us that even under pressure, you have expectations of us. Even, even when it looks like we're not going to make it, you show us through. You give us everything we need. You cover us with your blood and you make sure we make it to the other side. We love you and we praise you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you and give you his children his peace. Take care.